All right, here is a live look at our Storm Team Skywatch camera. The skies are gray. It's been another cold day. We started out very chilly indeed with temperatures down well below zero. But we are on a rebound and things are looking on the up and up as we take a look at what's going on across our region. We have temperatures across the area right now that range from the single digits all the way up to the 20s down south. But it is Shields Weather Kid Day, and right now I have a dandy to introduce you to, and it's Hunter Nicholas joining us from Crookston. Hunter, where do you go to school? Highland Middle School. Okay, and what grade are you in? Uh, fourth. Fourth grade. So how old are you? Ten. Ten, and what's your favorite subject at school? Math. Math, okay, and do you want to say hi to anybody before we get going? My class and Crookston, Minnesota. Okay, all right, how do we do that now? You got to do what, you, what was that, a dab? Like that? Yeah. Okay, we tried. I tried. Let's go over here. Why don't you come on and tell me where the warmest weather you see is right now on the old weather map? Sisseton. Good. What's their temperature? 23. Okay, where's the cold stuff at? Where is the coldest air? Uh, Roseau. Good, Roseau. Seven. Thief River Falls, seven. How about Grand Forks? What's the temperature there right now? 11. 11 degrees. Okay, here's the wind chills. We have wind chills down to 15 below in the Hallock area, eight above down south. And here at Hector International Airport, the skies look sunny or cloudy? Cloudy. Cloudy. Good job. And then tell everybody the temperature. 17. Okay, and what does the wind direction here mean? S-S-E. South, south, east. Very good. East. How fast is it blowing? 16 miles per hour. One or four pumps of hairspray? 16. Four. Four for sure? Yep. Okay. I put five in just to be sure, but you'd never be too sure when you're talking about the weather. Here's a look at this. And now the satellite and radar are showing a lot of white stuff. What's the white stuff? The white stuff is clouds. So clouds for everyone, but what's the blue stuff we see? Uh, snow. Snowflakes flying, and we are seeing a few areas getting snow where the darker blues are. What does that mean? It means that it's heavier snow. A heavier snowfall, so it's probably even starting to come down just a little bit. What towns might be seeing some of that snow right now? Can do. Yeah, good. Can Devil's, do. Can Devil's Lake. Devil's Lake, Michigan, up to Langdon and Wahala as well. And now look at this. What's this? What's the temperature in Crookston? Oh, it's off the screen. It's 10. 10. 10 degrees in your hometown of Crookston. Good job. Now let's take a look at what's going on across the West Coast. What's all this green stuff? Uh, rain. Rain is taking place from San Francisco to Portland. Snow in the Western Rockies of Montana. And here's our forecast for tonight. The clouds are building in and the blue stuff moving through. Who might be seeing some snowflakes by 10 o'clock tonight? Roseau. Roseau. Now, the temperature in Crookston was how much again? 10. 10. Yeah, you remember. Now, by tonight, look at our temperatures. Are they getting warmer or colder? Warmer. That's, ba that's backwards of normal. So, normally we cool off at night. Tonight, we're getting warmer thanks to south winds. So, if you got, want to play some outside basketball, does it seem like it'll be better tonight at 10? Yeah. Yeah, a little warmer. Still a chance of snow up by Roseau. Overnight, we continue the warming trend. Some of us in the 20s and 30s to start the day, but the winds will be gusty. Uh, where's the cloudiest weather going to be found, do you think? Uh, Bidet. Good, Bidet, Bemidji, maybe Devil's Lake. The rest of us have a chance at some morning sunshine on our Friday. Take a look at these afternoon temperatures. Now, your lunch hour, 40s south, 30s north, and in the after school time frame, does it look sunny for everybody? No. No, not at all. More clouds and sun, but how about the hot spot? Where do you see the warmest weather on the map here? Look it over. Uh, Sisseton? Yeah, yeah. Sisseton, Hankinson, 46, 40, uh, 35 up in Thief River Falls. Not a bad day. Here's your Crookston forecast at the bus stop in the morning. Tell everybody what they can expect. 23. Okay, mostly cloudy, but mild, and Hutch gives that a good old grade of an A. And then a lunch hour recess, what do you expect? Uh, 34. Good. Warming up. And how about after school? 38. 38 degrees. Good enough for maybe bike riding? No. No, not good enough for bike riding quite yet. Okay, all right. Hey, Hunter, tell us the hometown forecast. What does the weather look like up north versus south? What do you see in differences there? 38 is colder than um, 46 in Sisseton and Grand Forks. Very good. The warmer green colors means that lakes country from Fergus Falls and Wapaton will be mild up, up north. Still milder than we've been, but not quite as warm. Here's a fantastic shot. That's a choo-choo train back there near Tappan, North Dakota. Jane uploading that. 
train buried in snow out there, it looks like. Here's our planning forecast. Saturday, what does the weather look like? Give us an update. 36 degrees. Good, and a slight chance of some mixed rain or snow. How about Sunday? Does it look warmer or colder? Uh, well, colder. Yeah, just a touch colder, still a chance of snow. What's the big deal about Tuesday, you think? It's Valentine's Day. What does that mean for us, weather-wise? 33 degrees. 33 degrees. Hunter, follow me over this way. Now, Valentine's Day means a lot to a lot of people. Some of us have to, you know, maybe make some Valentine's cards and stuff like that. So do you have someone special to give some Valentine's cards to? No. Okay. Not even Hutch? No. <laughs> no, no. I would, <laughs> not even me. You did an awesome job. You did. And we got a root for your cheering section out here. I think uh, half the population of Crookston might be here with us enjoying mm -hmm. your performance. You did outstanding. You did really well. Okay, for you guys. Yes. Did you